r slash ask reddit what instantly pisses you off someone telling you to do something while as you're about to do it our parents just makes me not want to do it then i can relate to this with homework i want to be self-motivated about homework but when my parents constantly nag me about doing it i lose all motivation Pressing the space bar to pause a YouTube video and then ending up halfway down the page. Use the K key to pause and resume a video. D. This for sure. Some other useful keys. L. Forward 10 seconds. J. Back 10 seconds. F. Full screen exit full screen while paused. And. And. Move one frame forward or back back or forward. Respectively edit. Thanks to many helpful comments. Here are some more to add. M. Toggles Mutech, toggles captions 0 through 9, seeks to 0% through 90% of the video up and down arrow keys, adjusts volume left and right arrow keys, skips backward or forward by 5 seconds shift plus N and shift plus P, skips to the next and previous video in a playlist. Here is a full list of hotkeys if you're interested. When it takes 15 seconds for a company to put a fraudulent or unwanted charge on my account but takes 5-10 business days to get it back. This is why I use a credit card for everything and pay it off every month. Credit cards have way more consumer protections built in. If I dispute a charge it is gone immediately. No fighting with a bank to get my own money back. That's because it's their money on the credit card. Drivers who refuse to lower their high beams at night. High intensity headlights. They constantly blind me at night. Edit. I'm referring to oncoming traffic. The worst is when they swap out normal bulbs for the high intensity ones but don't realize that they need to swap out the housing as well. The hid xenon bulbs are supposed to be aimed projected lower with sharper cutoffs so they don't blind people. Unexpected item in bagging area. Please put your item on the belt. Unexpected item in the bagging area. Please put your item on the belt. Unexpected item in the bagging area. Please put your item on the belt. Unexpected item in the bagging area. Please put your item on the belt. Unexpected item in the bagging area. Please wait for assistance. Here is a link for those who don't know what's going on. When I play a video that is insanely loud and go to turn the volume down and my phone just turns down my ringtone volume instead. If you have a galaxy there is a setting that changes the volume buttons to only adjust the volume of your media, regardless of how it's playing. Ducking life changing man. I tell ya. Edit. For everyone searching. It's in settings. Sounds and vibration. Use volume keys for media. Almost ruins many hikes or disc golf outings for me. People can be so selfish. When my seatbelt locks up for no reason and it keeps locking on the smaller setting and the only way to get reset it is for it to hit the last setting lock. This mostly happens when I'm driving. Duck that. And you move back and forth trying to unlock it. Then your keys fall between the seats. When I'm untying my shoes and somehow create a tight knot. This is the opposite of what I wanted. You have become the very thing you swore to destroy. Verifone chip card readers. Do not remove card. Do not remove card. Do not remove card. Do not remove card. Okay. You can remove your card now. Beep 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 beep. Can't they make a happy sound? It's like an alarm clock telling me to duck off. Edit. Target is more pleasant now. You can switch it to a more pleasant tone. Some stores have changed it to a pleasant tone. Go to Costco. They use a pleasant tone. The reason for an aggressive tone is because you won't believe how many people forget their cards. But yet, if everyone could support contactless, that'd be a blessing. I'm not even too pissed about Walmart using their own QR code implementation. It's dumb, but still better than using a card. Headphones getting jerked out of your ears. My mother would always yank her butts out my ears when I was growing up. Can't believe I never attacked my mom because this sure made me think about it. I would have voted for self-defense at your trial. Accidental instances of minor physical pain. For example, bumping my head on an opened cupboard door, stubbing my toe on the corner of my bed frame, tripping over a raised part of my rug. The rage I feel during these experiences is the most extreme rage I've ever felt in my life. Then I promptly hit the cabinet door to teach it a lesson. When the headphone cord gets caught on something and yanks the buds out of your ears. 
People who pick up after their dog then throw that plastic bag aside for someone else to clean up. Like honestly what is the point? If they did nothing and left it to the elements it would be washed away in the rain. But now it's sealed in a plastic sarcophagus to hang around for weeks or months until someone else decides to collect it and put it in the trash. Saw a woman's dog shit in our garden this morning. She got really stressed and spent a good 10 minutes looking for the shit. I'm not sure if she found it because I had to leave for school. But I just want to appreciate these people who take care of their dogs a bit. Jokes on you she was stealing tomatoes. When I can't find something I am sure is in my apartment. Where did I hide that body? It's gotta be here. When I click on an article and it tells me to disable ad block or asks me to make an account before viewing the article. Ah and I'm exiting out of this window and never coming back again. Or, you have to download an app to view the content you found in a google search. Duck the duck off already. Pinterest. Putting on a fresh pair of socks and immediately stepping in water. That shit drives me bananas. Group work. And when some of the members do jack shit. And you're left to do most of the work and you're the one stressing out. And all that combined pisses me off. There's one girl I did a group project with a few months back. I can't stand this person. She always interrupted. She would do these stupid tasks that had nothing to do with the assignment and would get mad when we didn't do them. For example, she created a team communication plan. We didn't need that but whatever if she wants to do extra work that's on her. Then she got mad when I said I wasn't wasting my time updating that. Next assignment she was late with her work because she was creating a team risk register. One time she sent me a file to work on. She had it for almost 2 weeks. I got it on Thursday night and it was due on Sunday. Friday night I said there are several problems with this file. I can't use it. I kept reaching out for any help. Finally Saturday night she responds and starts blaming me. I finished my part of the assignment making up numbers since the file was unusable. She didn't like I wasn't willing to stay up all night and fix it. She continued to blame me for everything. It got to the point we would joke about it. I'd get on the phone with a teammate I liked and they would start the call with quarter to one this is all your fault. The store was out of carrots. So onto our project we then get to grade on some other assignment I worked so hard on and we had to push her to get her stuff done. When she finished it, it was crap and I spent hours editing it. She gave me 6 pages of garbage when this part of the assignment really only warranted like 2 pages. I fixed all her stuff. We get our grade and it was good. Her response to me told ya. What does that mean? Her work was garbage and if I didn't spend hours editing it our grades would be terrible. Get anyone else who actually does the project and conspire with them to remove the names of the slackers from any and all of the work. Me and two friends did this with a random shitstin who was assigned to our group in 10th grade chemistry who proceeded to do duck all and get pissy when we called him out on it. We removed his name from the powerpoints. Teacher recognized immediately what it meant. Gave his sorry ass an F while we got B's. Duck people who don't contribute. People who don't close the door behind them when they leave the room. People who has their phone media sound on full blast in a public place. My wife has this terrible habit. If I'm chilling in the bedroom and she walks through, on the way to the bathroom, or out to the kitchen, she always leaves the door in the opposite state of what it was originally. If I had the door closed, she leaves it open. If I had it open, she closes it. WTF. Pretty sure that's legal grounds for divorce. When you're waiting for someone to just go already because they have the right of way, and then instead of going they hesitate and wave you on, just go when I tease your turn. I tease faster for everyone. Saw this piece of advice somewhere, when driving. Don't be polite, be predictable. I follow this rule both as a driver and a pedestrian near a road. If I'm about to cross the street and see a car coming, I walk as if I'm not going to cross so that the driver doesn't try to be polite to let me by first. Waiting for them to pass is safer for us both. Even a single bubble on a screen protector. Similarly, people that keep the shitty plastic cling on their screen and think it's a legit screen protector so they keep it there for like a year and a half and get mad when you're like why is this here still? I only get 30 minutes to grab lunch when I'm working. And I work odd hours. So I'll look up places to eat on Yelp or Google. It says they are open. I go there and they're closed. 
Seems like it's not a big deal but now I don't have time to go anywhere else and don't get to eat. How hard is it to put your accurate open hours hours online? Hey, you can update this though. Sometimes it's not the business that posts the hours but other Google reviewers. Then if you can verify it's correct, usually with a picture of the sign, website etc, it will change. We go and change incorrect hours posted on Google all the time. And yeah, it really freaking sucks when you show up and it's locked and you're starving. People who accelerate as soon as they see my turn signal, preventing me from merging into their lane. In the same thought, people who are trying to merge into the highway traffic from the on-ramp going 15-20 under the speed limit, or the people who stop on the merging ramp waiting for a gap to open. Willing ignorance. You know when you're having a discussion with someone, and you make a good point, you can see you've got them, but suddenly they turn nasty, and they start spouting illogical arguments and fixating on minor issues, all that, so they can continue their blissful ignorance, and not change their worldview. There's a dude that I work with. Overall, he's a decent enough guy, but his willful ignorance on gun safety really pissed me off the other day. He brings me to the back of where we work to show me something. When we get to his car, he gets a Glock out of his car and proceeds to ducking point it at me. Full clip still in the gun. At this point, I'm ready to fight this guy. He pointed his gun right at my abdomen and followed me when I tried to get out of the way, laughing the whole time. I try to explain to him how stupid he is for playing with guns like that. I tell him the number one rule of gun safety is to always assume it's loaded and never point it at anything you're not willing to kill. He gives me this hal first. Chill bro. I know it's not loaded. Again. I try to tell him that what he did was incredibly irresponsible and that he doesn't deserve to have a gun if he thinks that kind of shit is funny. He claims that I'm just freaking out. And that he chooses to follow his own rules of gun safety. Duck you. A-hole. That's how people accidentally kill their friends or family. Willful ignorance can easily get someone killed when it comes to guns. Needless to say, I'm not gonna talk to that idiot anymore. Isn't pointing a weapon at someone illegal? Late pure mean people who can never be on time, no matter what. Had a manager at my old job who was always late for work. His shift started at 5, he'd be there no later than 5.45. Another manager had a talk with him that went down similar to, Hey sorry I'm late, traffic was bad you're always late, traffic is always bad so I'll leave earlier. Maybe, I can't control that. You can't control when you leave? This just sounds like someone who really shouldn't be a manager. If you can't manage your own time you should not be managing other people. People who give advice even when they have no idea what they're talking about either. Wow. I guess a lot of people really ducking hate this. So, reddit. r slash life pro tips remember to drink water so you don't get AIDS. When people act like their bad day is a perfectly valid reason to be shitty to you. I've gotten to a point where if I'm tired or hungry or otherwise in a bad mood and I'm rude to someone. I apologize and explain that I'm having a bad day and I didn't mean to direct it at them. What's weird is that apologizing makes me feel better. Unnecessary apostrophes. Fees. Dying in a video game where I'll lose everything in my inventory, and the only way to retrieve it all is to go back where I died and grab the bag. Only the thing that killed me is still walking around where I died. Edit. Haha. <laughs> Some people are assuming I've never tried Dark Souls. I've been praising the sun since I was born. Fools. Comma. Sounds like Ark. Okay Alasaurus I get it. You're a badass. Please stop tossing my salad on the starter beach. Diablo 2. Red Heart. People who can't accept that they're wrong. Edit. Holy bananas. This post blew up. Whatever. When are just a few people at work are slacking but comments are made in a staff meeting that should be directed at them specifically. That can be really demoralizing. It always seems that the ones who need to step up, don't pay attention to the comments and keep going on like they were. Those people suck. Drivers who have no clue how to use their indicators. But I have a BMW. People who interrupt someone while talking to them. On the flip side. When people don't stop talking and don't give them a chance to contribute to the conversation. This is worse in my opinion. I try to be pretty aware of not interrupting someone. 
but some people just talk and talk and talk, you can never get a word in. And whatever you were gonna say is irrelevant now because the subject already changed twice. The sound of people chewing loudly or smacking, making chup chup noises, while they eat. Anyone hurting animals, guaranteed way to piss me off. People who comment about how you look, what you wear and downplay any achievement you've had. People telling me I look tired, yes I know I have dark circles under my eyes. What are they even trying to accomplish with this shit? It's never said in a mean way but you're basically saying, Hey Susan you kind of look like shit today, take a nap. Oh my god did you realize you have a huge spot on your head? People who are disrespectful to servers or fast food workers. People that get pets they can't look after, knowing that they can't look after them. Pets cost a lot to maintain, ruin your stuff when they're young. Get sick unexpectedly and cost a lot more, require species specific diets, habitats, handling, etc. Pets are not a fashion accessory, nor are they right, they're not something you should get if you're not emotionally and financially committed to looking after them properly. If you get a dog, or a cat, rabbit, rat, hamster, goldfish, parrot, turtle, human child, you accept the responsibility of looking after it to the best of your ability, and also meeting their medical needs. If you're not able to do that, don't duck and get it in the first place. Go volunteer at a shelter or something if you need an animal fix. People who blame vaccines for autism. Not only do they blame a disorder on something that has saved countless lives, while the link has been disproven time and time again, allowing the comeback of often dangerous diseases, it also, as someone with autism, offends me in a more personal way with their ignorance. Vaccines cause adults. People who bump into me, my personal space extends 5 miles. You would enjoy Finland. If only it actually existed. Being woken up less than 10 minutes before your alarm goes off. People who are stupid but also agree with me, makes me doubt my whole system of thinking. Hearing it's just a prank or come on, that was a joke to justify douchey behavior. People who text and drive. When people damage my property and think it's no big deal, edit, I mean just simple shit. Example being one time a friend of mine slid a big lighter across the roof of my car to me. I beached him out about it because I like to take care of my car and not scratch it up doing stupid shit like that. He acted like I was overreacting because he doesn't take care of his own shit. Yay. The lighter probably didn't scratch it. But it's the principle. When people answer their phone around other people then get annoyed that the others are still talking and do that hand wavy gesture to get everyone to shut up because they are on the phone. I'm like, no, you duck off elsewhere. I ain't gonna sit in silence because you can't be asked to get off your lazy backside when your mum rang to nag you about being a lazy shit again. When I finish painting my nails and instantly smudge one. People who think it's okay to verbally abuse servers cashiers working class people. There was a thread the other day about snotty customers and I couldn't even finish reading it. Infuriating. Source. Wife served wine to boomers. A full bladder. People who don't say thank you when you hold the door open for them. You're welcome you self-righteous butt liquor. My co-worker just sighed 30 times in the last 46 minutes. I know this because I've been keeping track. It's not even the most annoying thing she has done. One day she played her talking minion toy 41 times over the course of a day. Another time she played Uptown Funk 12 goddamn times in a ducking row. This does not count the number of times I hear Uptown Funk every time her cell phone rings or she gets a text message. Guantanamo Bay has nothing against my name is not Ryan's co-worker. Seeing people litter. For me specifically. I absolutely hate any and all mouth noises, chewing, lip smacking, spit noises, mouth breathing, you name it, it enrages me. One co-worker, whose office is only separated by a 3 stroke 4 wall, top 2 3 featuring is open, meaning I hear everything, chews gum like a cow, open mouth, spit smacking noises, mouth breathing, he also cracks the gum. Not a mouth noise but when he drinks out of his water bottle it glugs so loudly it is almost offensive and after, he lets out a giant sigh or smacks his tongue against the roof of his mouth, 
He eats almonds that I swear he got from the hardware section of Home Depot cause it sounds like he's chewing on nuts and bolts. His sneezes could awaken a coma patient. I've tried putting music on to mask all the ungodly noises and overall just try to divert my attention from it. However all attempts are feeble. I may not survive the year. Talking down to me when explaining something. Grown women speaking in high pitched little kid voices thinking it is cute. I'm not racist but. I'm not racist. But I hope you have a nice day. Dot. That wasn't racist. I know. I said I'm not racist. The lack of spatial awareness among the general population. I've never been in a public place that didn't have a handful of people unaware of what was going on around them and if they're standing in the way of something. I'm pissed off a lot I guess. When technology that has no reason to not work doesn't work. Program won't open. Can't get all lines tabbed over on a word document. Video constantly buffering on great internet etc. The new Chevy commercials. All of them. When people randomly stop while walking on the sidewalk and I almost bump into them. I also hate when people walk slow for no reason. I don't care if an elderly person walks slow because I'm not an a-hole. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.